Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tuto tutorial, I will introduce you how to install Quantum Espresso on Windows. So in the last tutorial, I have already uh, showed, showed you how to uh, compile and uh, install Quantum Espresso in Linux and uh, since, since uh, most of the people use Windows, um, it's, it is also possible to run uh, Quantum Espresso in Windows. So this is the uh, official website of Quantum Espresso and download, download page. And if you scroll down here in Quantum Espresso 5.3.0, there is uh, .exe ex executables for uh, Windows installation. You can see that for uh, versions that, that is later, there's n there's no Windows um, version, but um, it, it, it is uh, almost the same. So we are going to use this version. And <coughs> one uh, interesting thing is, is here, QE on Windows.pdf. And if you open here, um, it is a, how to say it is a manual of uh, of how to inst install Quantum Espresso on Windows. Uh, what uh, what the package includes and how to run it, uh, how to run it parallel. So uh, you can refer to this file. Mm -hmm. And basically, there are two possibilities. One is uh, with MPICH, that is parallel computation, which means that you can uh, you can run Quantum Espresso using multiple cores, uh, or uh, you can choose this serial uh, version, that is, you can only run it on one CPU core. I would like to choose this 64-bit MPICH2, and if you click here. Uh, it will download and um, you just install it as uh, uh, like the normal uh, packages in Windows. Yeah. And then uh, th th this is the this is the place that I have already installed it. Uh, remember that do not have spaces in the uh, in the past huh? so so uh, you can you can replace the spaces to uh, under underscore and uh, in this uh, folder yeah I will just first introduce you the stru uh, structure of the program in Bing, there are many uh, programs, and we are going to use pw.x here. And uh, in the sudo uh, directory, we have uh, all different kinds of pseudo potentials. And uh, I just uh, move, I just move the uh, the calculations in Linux here, and um, it is basically. Uh, very similar. Uh, just to notice that I use Note Notepad plus plus to open input and output file. Um, do not use the default uh, .txt uh, viewer in in Windows uh, because they will add some uh, some different uh, characters at the end of each line. So just to use no Notepad++, and this is free and can be downloaded online. So I I just changed the pseudo pseudo potential directory to the default one, and uh, and uh, in this output directory I uh, yeah I just choose to be temp dear here. And everything else is similar. I changed the um, pseudo potentials to the uh, to the ones that are contained in the uh, in, uh, in the package, and that's all. So we 
are going to run it. So first you go to D and then uh, CD to uh, your folder. Uh, and uh, the, the command would be like this. You need to specify the directory uh, where pw.x is in. So um, let's do it the standard way. D quantum slash mphd QE tutorial. Oh, not QE tutorial, but uh, okay. D quantum espresso bin pw.x. Zero, zero two, zero two. Okay, and it starts running. And we just opened here. It's uh, still calculating. Let's check again. Okay, the drop is down. Huh? So you see that the output file has the same structure as in Linux. So we successfully uh, installed Quantum Espresso in Windows. So thank you for watching and hope to see you next time.